adding fun in routine and non-routine problems. What I know, answer the problems. 1. In the field, I saw 45 boys and 36 girls playing. How many children did I see? Answer. 81 children. 2. The population of Pampang Elementary School is 5,300 while that of Don Pepe Memorial School is 4,100. What is the total population of the two schools? The total population of the two schools is 9,400. 3. Harold has 980 pesos. Jane has 130 pesos more than Harold. How much do they have altogether? 2,090 pesos. 3. There are situations in life when you need to solve problems involving addition of whole numbers. In playing, you count the toys that you have or the friends who join the game. If you intend to buy something, you count your money to know if it is enough to buy the things that you need. Hence, in your day-to-day -day life you apply your problem-solving skills. The problems that you encounter can be routine or non-routine problems. What's in activate the concept of addition that you have learned in the previous lessons by answering the following questions. 1. What is the sum of 450 and 681? 2. What is the sum of 2130 and 6150? 3. Find the value of 715 added to 596. What's new? In the previous lesson, you performed addition. You mastered adding numbers with and without regrouping. For this lesson, you will focus on solving routine and non-routine problems involving addition. Study carefully the examples below. Take note how are answers being obtained. Remember that the process of obtaining the answer is as important as the answer itself. Example 1. Josephine sold 50 pieces of rice cake. Letitia sold 65 pieces of rice cake. How many pieces of rice cake were sold? What you want to find out? The number of pieces of rice cake that were sold. What you need to do? Add to get the total number of pieces of rice cake sold. 50 plus 65 equal 115. Therefore, 115 pieces of rice cake were sold. What you have? 1. Josephine sold 50 pieces of rice cake. 2. Letitia sold 65 pieces of rice cake. The table above shows a systematic way of answering the problem. You identified what you have, what you want to find out, and what you need to do. You used addition to get the total number of pieces of rice cake sold. You were able to determine that there were 115 pieces of rice cake sold.
Example 2. A rectangular table can seat six persons. If two tables are placed side by side, it can seat ten. If three tables are placed side by side, it can seat fourteen. How many persons can be accommodated if there are five rectangular tables placed side by side? Five tables can seat twenty-two persons. It is important to study mathematics because we need to solve problems involving numbers. In solving routine and non-routine, remember to do the following. 1. Understand the problem. Make sure that you understand the words used and that the problem is clear to you. Determine what is given and what is asked. You should have all the information that you need to solve the problem. 2. Make a plan. You can use different strategies and tools in solving problems. You can draw figures, diagrams, and illustrations. You can use tables and representations. You can guess and test when needed to check if your plan will help you obtain the answer to the problem. 3. Carry out the plan. Use the plan to check if it works. If it does not, try another strategy. 4. Look back. You need to check if your answer is correct that satisfies the condition of the problem. 4. Read and understand the problem. Use the list of food in the canteen in solving the problem. Snacks. Sandwich 15 pesos. Banana Q 10 pesos. Fruit juice 25 pesos. Fruit salad 25 pesos. Bottled water 10 pesos. Meals. Fried fish and rice 30 pesos. Mungo and rice 25 pesos. Beef steak and rice 50 pesos. Vegetable salad and rice 35 pesos. Rian has 50 pesos for her meal allowance in school. What can she buy with this amount? Compute the total amount of each set of food ordered. Possible answer. Sandwich 15 pesos. Banana Q 10 pesos. Fruit juice 25 pesos. Total 50 pesos. Solve the following routine and non-routine problems. 1. Fred was given 35 yellow marbles and 18 green marbles. How many marbles does Fred have in all? 2. In a farm, there are twice as many chickens as cows. If there are 104 legs altogether, find the number of chickens in the farm. 3. Jerry has 128 pieces of cubes. Sunny has 176 pieces of cones. How many objects do they have in all? 4. A chocolate and two biscuits cost 84 pesos. The chocolate costs 12 pesos more than the biscuit. Find the cost of the chocolate. 5. 
Nene Malou's birthday gifts to Rona are notebook and colored pencil. The notebook costs 178 pesos while the colored pencil costs 10 pesos more than the notebook. How much is the total amount of Nene Malou's gift? What I have learned. In solving routine and non-routine problems, remember to do the following. 1. Understand the problem. Make sure that you understand the words used and that the problem is clear to you. Determine what is given and what is asked. 2. Make a plan. You can use different strategies and tools in solving problems. You can draw figures, diagrams, and illustrations. You can use tables and representations. You can guess and test when needed. 3. Carry out the plan. Use the plan to Answer the problems. 1. Neil wants to buy three books from the bookstore. How much money does he need if the prices of the books are listed as follows? Book A 450 pesos, Book B 620 pesos, Book C 560 pesos. Two. During a garage sale, Maylene bought the following items. T-shirt 70 pesos, jeans 150 pesos, shoes 200 pesos. How much did it cost her to buy all three items? Three. A mango, an apple, and an orange together cost 73 pesos. An apple costs 5 pesos more than an orange, while a mango costs 3 pesos more than an apple. How much is the cost of a mango? 3. Assessment. Solve the following routine and non-routine problems. 